Last session we talked a lot about the number of pixels and how the number of pixels impact the quality of the picture. But what is the pixel itself? Let's go back to the invention of the CCD back in 1969 by Bell Labs. They used a very small number of pixels on that first camera. So basically what we do is we cut off in, in little pieces the image and each one of these little squares is called a pixel. Let's get ready for some reality shock. As you can see in this slide, standard television, definition television, uses about 168,000 pixels, which we have been used to see this and call it a wonderful picture for so long. So it's not bad, 168,000. On the other end, uh, the human eye resolution is equivalent to 120 million pixels. So we are trying to aim something in between, as you can see in the slide here, and the first experiment from Kodak in, in 1982 is also listed here uh, with three million pixels and being a, quite an achievement at that time. So our VGA, so well-known VGA monitor, is 640 by 480. So not a lot of pixels, but still beautiful images anyway. So don't think, the purpose here is don't think more pixels make a better picture. In the case of our HD18 camera, we use 1.3 megapixels in a one-third inch imager. So like you see here, we optimize the use of the one-third inch imager and we get the best resolution and the best dynamic range. So that balance of pixel size and pixel benefits and performance is kept to its optimum. So let's look at the CCD. The CCD is constructed in a different way than a CMOS. In a CCD, the image is captured instantly and then transferred to a vertical register and clocked out. And it shifts to an horizontal register and it has an analog output. In the case of this pixel of the CCD, the photo sensor is really where the light comes into the pixel. And the pixel size is larger than what the photo sensor is, as you can see in this slide here. If we cut through the semiconductor and we look at one pixel, you will see a small lens on top of it, which will help to improve the situation of light capturing. So different manufacturers use different kinds of micro lenses and they all claim it works better than the others. But the bottom line is there is a glass covering the pixel to then focus the light into the photodiode. On this slide, you also see that on the left, you have the vertical register, which is where the photons, which are converted to electrons, are then transferred to the vertical register to be clocked out later. So the vertical register does not pick up light, but indeed it transfers electric charges throughout the CCD. We'll later revisit the CCD and how it functions, but for now, we have learned how the pixel relates to the image and what is the photodiode portion of a pixel.